Ad Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you, Traveler? I want to go to Inazuma. There you are. You're the Traveler that Beido will be taking to Inazuma, right? Yeah. Please, I've been up all day waiting for this update to come out. Please take me to Inazuma already. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. Mm -hmm. Until we meet again. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Why do they give us this option? Like, there isn't gonna be another Catherine. Oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. We practically see each other every day. <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. So she does know that she... <laughs> okay, yeah, so she definitely is in multiple places. So there's another Catherine in Inazuma? No need to get all sappy now. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Ah, you finally made it. I'm here. Can you take me now? All these years come rain or storm. The Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. Uh, are you sure? It took Mahoyo 30 minutes for the service to open up. Well, now that everyone's here... We set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. So... The nation of eternity. So we're not bringing Kazuha with us? Look at all the people here. Oh, he is here! What's up, dude? <laughs> Look at her. What a queen. What's up, discount child? <laughs> oh, hi there. So, you finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. Yeah, what's up, dude? You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. What's up, Toma? You look pretty sick, but you also look like child, so I'm not sure if I can trust you. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlander sterling deeds at bay. Wow, am I really that popular? <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. Please. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Kazuha. Until next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all. No matter what perilous storms you may encounter. You didn't get that much screen time, but I, I hope we can see you again. Fair seas, Captain Beto. Bye-bye! Ooh, here we go. Our first look at Inazuma. 
All right. Oh, God. Oh, no. I already fell in the water. Please. Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. Uh... Do we lie or tell the truth? I'm here to find my sister. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. Ah! So, unless you have a valid reason for visiting in accordance with the rules... Um... <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> Paimon, come up with something quick. Toma, help! Toma, help! My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to- Here are their entry papers. For your kind perusal. Oh, thank goodness. What? Ugh, take your time. No rush or anything! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. Bruh, I already don't trust this guy. <sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency? Both of you? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million more. Oh my god. <laughs> two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? <laughs> and that's just the processing fee. That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. What are you, multiplying it by the power of two? Hundred? <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to... 400,000 more a total. What? Why is he getting a discount of literally 600,000? That's a major discount. Why? <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 Mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? Oh, never mind. That's not how you haggle. By all means, bargain the price down, but- All right then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. Oh, okay. I will make a record. Okay. Yeah, I see how he does things. What? She went from 2 million down to 600? There's something seriously wrong with people's sense of finance around here! <laughs> <laughs> it's not as mind-boggling as you think. A processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency. Oh, so we were about to get scammed. Then they'll milk them for all their worth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. How much do I have to pay for you to do that? It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. Oh, okay, so we're doing commissions. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The Sokoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, but in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. Uh-huh. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's like changing the way you pay for things from like the currency that you usually use to just random rocks. So in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this Crystal Marrow. Uh... Then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for Crystal Marrow drove the price higher and higher. Oh, well, that's great. Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Isn't that what they call a monopoly? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Economics 101 with Paimon. Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. What do you think we should do? I feel like the vendor might also have a reason for doing that as well. Let's just find out what's wrong with the vendor. So, what do you need with me? Uh, what do you source your goods? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Yeah, it's true. Trade secret. Got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? Yeah. This guy's got a bad attitude. <laughs> Can you reduce your prices just a bit? 
pretty please. Oh, I see what's going on here. Carisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? Damn it. They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable. Not by a single mora. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Alright, let's go talk to Toma then. Maybe he knows. I feel like we're gonna rely a lot on Toma here. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. Oh, uh, so he's got an ego. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Uh. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. Oh. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. Dang. So he left the association and turned his back on them. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. All right. Oh. So basically, just mention one word to him, Mondstadt, and he'll just be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry for talking to you like this. <laughs> here, take everything. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. It was the wind that led me back here to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? A dandelion wine would sure be nice on a day like this. Mondstadt? You were talking about... M Mondstadt? This'll bring him back. This'll literally bring him back so hard, it'll give him whiplash. Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? Uh, I know what you're up to. <laughs> close your eyes. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! <laughs> <laughs> Listen closely. You mean the sound of the ocean? Cheap and tasty chop suey! <gasps> Leah Harbor. I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. May the flames of virtue spread to all. Xiao lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This dude is literally going through an actual tsunami of nostalgia right now. Wait, stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. <laughs> don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Why Why don't you? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <laughs> you don't have to be so blunt, Paimon. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru, Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Uh -huh. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Yes, please. Paimon, get the lockpicks ready. Just have to follow him without being noticed. It's a trailing mission? Oh my god, we're turning into Assassin's Creed. Oh, goodness. He's getting further and further away! Okay, okay, <laughs> shut up! Huh? Where'd he go? No, don't tell me I lost him. He was right there a moment ago. Seems he disappeared in a blink of an eye. Bruh. If only we made less noise. What do you mean? Ah, <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> that was so dumb. Whoa, it's a ledger. <laughs> What's a ledger again? Boring. Paimon thought he'd hidden a big pile of mora here. Ah, yes, the real reason Paimon came along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Ooh, nice. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence, 
Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here, then. I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. Huh. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? <laughs> Why do you have to say that in front of his face? Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger, so now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the taxpayers. Uh-huh. Well, uh, you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... <laughs> yeah, give it up, buddy. Huh. So you think you can use this against me, do you? It's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else. Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. I believe you still have a quantity of Crystal Marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that Crystal Marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Ah, uh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. That wasn't, uh, too hard, was it? So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let them off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does oh someone God. dare question the decree? Oh, God. Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand. But they're never grateful. Shut the f shut up, man. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure you that Hirage Shinsuke will hear of this. Oh my. Oh, and you dare to utter the commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Oh god. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? <laughs> you never heard of the Fixer? <laughs> <laughs> Context, Paimon. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young... What? Oh, I see. Okay. Lady of our clan, some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? <laughs> that fan. The Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. He pulled out Aika's fan like it was a trump card. But, Chief! Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen. My treat, I insist. Uh, no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned then. Yeah, right. Oh, what was all that? Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh huh. <laughs> Keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? <laughs> I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Uh -huh. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. Yeah, not just the people of Inazuma, people uh, outside of the game too. Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that huh? he's the current head of the clan. She's got a brother? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island, and I got to know Captain Beto during that time too. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. <laughs> well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery. <laughs> but the main thing was, I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. 
Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monster and Liyue. I'm very famous, I've, I've heard. <laughs> so, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Uh-huh, so she thinks I'm the chosen one. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... Oh, wait a minute, we're straight up refusing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Uh, hmm. That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. I only have one goal here. I want to meet the Raiden Shogun and beat her up. <laughs> yes, of course. I completely understand and has agreed. I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Dang. Okay, so we actually did just straight up refuse. <laughs> no, no illusion of torture or anything. not such a bad guy, huh? <sighs> we should get going. There's one problem, though. The outlanders are unable to leave. Oh, right! Paimon forgot all about that! Wait, so... Did Toma forget that too? Nope. Oh, darn it! No <laughs> wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing! <laughs> it was pretty obvious he wasn't just gonna let us go like that. As soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamura Tea House to settle the score! <laughs> We're here to see, uh, you know, uh, the Kanjo Commissioner? The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be forced to... Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, look at this old man. <laughs> These two are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. Huh. Did you get all that, mister? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paimon. Chill out with the attitude. The reason we wanted to come and see you was because... All right, all right. All in good time. Two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me, and I should very much like to make their acquaintance. Let's not limit this to business only. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what you're saying is, we really are pretty famous, huh? Oh, God. How many other people in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's sails and put the Overlord of the Vortex back under the sea, eh? Paimon, you didn't even do anything. Shut up. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Hmm. This makes me wonder whether you might be so kind as uh, to render your uh, assistance to the Kondro Commission. Oh boy, we're about to be hired. Well, sure, no problem. Whatever you need, right? Eh, uh, time to run some errands again. I'm used to it already. You must know the Qingxin. A flower grows on the mountaintops of Liyue. Yep, we've picked a few of those before. So, uh, you want us to go back to Liyue? Yes, bring me 300 season, would you? Freshly picked, I mean. <laughs> this guy's nuts. Then how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. Perhaps you can help with that? That sounds much more like it. 709 letters, to be precise. Why are we a literal robot for these people? Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. Why is that? What sort of an explanation is that? Uh, hi, who are you? <laughs> are you okay? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? Uh, I'll consider it. That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. A letter? Quick! Let Paimon see! So this means she wants you to secretly meet her at night? <laughs> What's with that smile? But you didn't seem surprised at all by this. What's going on? We shared a glance, I guess. Huh? Have you been up to something behind Paimon's back? <laughs> We're meeting up with the girl in a secret location in the middle of the night. It sounds a little sus, but okay. Ah, you finally arrived. 
Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hiragi Chisato. Hi. This is technically the second time we have met. It's a pleasure to see you again. Wow. She's the daughter of the Hiragi clan, all right. I'm delighted to see you. <laughs> I just noticed his smile. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> no need to be so formal. I've long marveled at your accomplishments. And at last, we have the chance to meet. Is that Paimon or does something seem a bit off here? <laughs> no, don't tell me. Oh my god. The reason why I wanted to secretly meet you here is... Well, I feared that I might never have another opportunity to discuss this with you. Discuss what? Ahem. I should like to ask for your help with delivering a letter. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Ugh, like father, like daughter. Couldn't you be more original? <laughs> no, you misunderstand me. Please. Allow me to explain. I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Narukami Island in my stead. It is to be given to Kujo Kamachi of the Tenryo Commission. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that would better serve him politically. But my heart is with Kamachi. Uh -huh. There is no one who would dare defy my father's will on Rito, but you are outlanders. Outlanders seeking to get to Narukami Island. It would be regrettable to let such an opportunity pass. Oh, really? Of course, in doing so, I will also do everything in my power to help you leave Rito. That is my promise. It seems kind of reasonable. It's just one letter. I'll be waiting for you at the border. I'm counting on you to deliver my letter. A love letter? Question mark. Hold on, please. These goods are being sent to Watatsumi Island? My lady, this is an unexpected honor. Uh, you are correct. These goods have been repeatedly requested by the Kanjo Commissioner. We must be certain that they reach Watatsumi Island intact. Is there something wrong, Lady Hiragi? No, as you were. My father simply has some concerns of the shipment's safety, and has ordered that myself and an additional qualified escort be dispatched to ensure safe transport of the goods. Yeah, I'm her bodyguard. Step aside. My lady, you aren't suggesting that you intend to escort this shipment personally, are you? There's certainly no need for you to trouble yourself with such a matter. And as for this qualified escort... Did you dare question my abilities? Please, do not cause us any further delay. If memory serves me right, my father has already asserted that this shipment must arrive on time. I'm certain punishment will be duly dispensed if it fails to do so. Uh-oh. Yes, of course, my lady. It, it's just that, well, we don't know who this- Need I remind you of the penalty? If anything were to happen to me en route? I'm sure you are all quite familiar with my father's temperament. Do you really presume that you can fully guarantee <laughs> my safety on your own? Dang. But boy, Chisato can talk the talk. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, my lady. Very well, then. It, it's an honor to have you accompanying us. Your safety is our highest priority. Shinojo, you can't really be agreeing to this. Well, the request is from Lady Hiragi herself. It is our duty to serve her in the utmost capacity. Yeah, dude, come on, know your place. Well then, if we're through here, I suggest we set off at once. Dawdling will only allow potential thieves more time to prepare, no? Yes, my lady. You heard her. There's no time to lose. <laughs> We can take refuge in the village up ahead. How are you faring, my lady? I'm perfectly all right. You may stop here. The road to Narukami Island is just over there. In my letter, I've requested Kamaji to grant you a special travel permit from the Tenryo Commission. Consider it a token of my appreciation. Please be careful out there. My lady. Uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> so that's how it is. I, I had a feeling something was amiss, but Shinojo, you... Uh-oh. Uh no, Lady Hiragi would never hide anything from us, I'm sure of it. But who is this Kamaji you speak of, my lady? I'm not afraid to say that he's the one I love. The one you love? <laughs> Shinojo, did you honestly think that... <laughs> no! I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? No, I, uh, <clears throat> I was just clarifying, that's all. I, I would never in my wildest dreams, uh, 
<laughs> you two needn't worry. Please, forget that this ever happened. If my father catches word of it, I alone will be held accountable. Yes, of course. As you wish, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. I'm sure we will meet again. Okay. Bye, Chisato! Come now. Quit your staring and let's get moving. <laughs> We've got goods to shift. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we were all him once. Don't worry.